Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite garlics. That's right, black garlic. Black garlic is a wonderful, wonderful product. I love making it every year and I love eating it every year. And here's why you should too. Black garlic is delicious. It doesn't even taste like garlic. It's very sweet. It's got a smoky flavor. You can use it in all kinds of dishes, super fancy pasta dishes, pizza dishes. One of the best things to use it on also is any kind of protein. So red meat, pork, fish, chicken, you name it, you can find a really good use for black garlic. It's really sweet. It's got a little smoky flavor to it from the slow cooking for a long time. And uh, since it's so sweet, one of the best ways to use it is to offset the sweetness with something really salty. One of my favorite ways to use it is take buttered toast, spread black garlic over the top of that buttered toast, and dig in, you'll love it. So let me tell you a little bit about how powerful this superfood is, how powerful of an antioxidant this is, and why you should be eating it all the time. So what exactly is black garlic? Well, black garlic is garlic that has been fermented by cooking it for a very long time at a low temperature. And the resulting garlic cloves turn black and develop a really soft dough-like texture that when you spread it or smear it, it has a really sticky tar-like texture. So if you take this regular garlic here, which is beautiful all in itself and full of many antioxidants and really beneficial compounds that are good for you, and you cook it for a very long time at a low temperature, you end up with this. And this is black garlic. So what is a long time? Well, this garlic took me four weeks to make. And what is a low temperature? The best temperature to turn this into this is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly 60 degrees Celsius. See the garlic shell is beautiful, brown, and inside is this really soft, spongy-like texture of the original garlic. And when you smear this or spread it, it turns into a really sticky tar-like paste. Uh, it doesn't taste like garlic at all. Uh, it's very, very sweet. It's very pungent of a smoky uh, smell, uh, smoky sweet smell. It doesn't have any of the garlic taste, so you won't get garlic breath. You won't smell like garlic but it has many, 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 many health benefits. Uh, garlic in itself is full of flavonoids and compounds and antioxidants that are very, very good for you. Um, many antioxidants in garlic. When you cook it and turn it into a fermented food like this, you actually drastically increase the number of antioxidants that seem to have health benefits. Some of these benefits are the regulation and reduction of blood sugar levels and symptoms of diabetes and kidney issues. They improve heart health and reduce levels of serum cholesterol and triglycerides. They fight certain types of cancers such as colon cancers. Antioxidants which can block free radicals which reduce cell damage and limit cancerous cell growth. And these same antioxidants are also anti-inflammatories which are good for your brain and overall immune functions. It's totally healthy for you. It's full of alkanoids, flavonoids. It has two to three times more antioxidants than regular garlic. So when you have black garlic, it's basically a fermented garlic and the antioxidants increase exponentially. So there's way more health benefits for you than you would normally think. It has allicin, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, folate, calcium, manganese, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and iron. So there you have it. If you're not familiar with black garlic, you are now. You should eat it on a regular basis. The one caveat is if you're allergic to garlic, don't eat black garlic because you'll be allergic to black garlic as well. The thing to take away is it doesn't taste like garlic. It tastes like a totally different product. It's very smoky, very sweet, uh, full of antioxidants and health benefits. It's really good for you and it's super easy to make. On the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. There's two ways you can do it, a crock pot or a bread proofer. I love the crock pot because it's way easy. Set it and forget it, baby.
If you like this video and you learned something, please comment, like, and subscribe. It totally helps me out and it moves me up in the YouTube algorithm so other people can find the videos so they can learn how to grow their own food as well. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm. Delicious.